Hello everybody, my name is Noah Mac on YouTube.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to run different operating systems on your Macintosh computer. For this I will be using the application Parallels Desktop. Um, this is available for free to try and basically what Parallels does is it allows you to select a operating system image that's a .iso file or use a CD drive to basically run an operating system through this application. This I use personally for Windows 7 only because when I design websites I like to make sure it's available in all browsers and Internet Explorer 7 and 8 are only available on Windows so I really need Windows 7 when it comes to that. Now let me just let you know I will be uh, pausing and stopping a lot in this video um, only because you know sometimes these things can get a little lengthy and I only have 10 minutes available on YouTube and what I mean by lengthy is just that you know when you start up a Windows computer you know I, I'm sure you don't wanna sit here and watch it start up that's kinda of boring but um, I will show you everything that you need to know so basically once you install this application you can create a new operating system and so right here you could either choose to use your disk drive or you can choose one of the disk drives if you have a Mac Pro um, they do include multiple ones or you can specify an ISO file which I do solely because I downloaded Windows 7 off of the Microsoft website I did not use a CD so once you choose that you can, I'm not going to do this with you, but um, all you have to do is just specify where you want um, the main files to go into and it will set up your computer. Then when you run it, um, the operating system will boot as normal and will set up exactly as if you had just went out and, go, and went to Best Buy and picked up a new Windows 7 computer. It's exactly the same and it's very, very straightforward once you get the hang of it. Now, if you have the newest version of Parallels Desktop, which is Parallels Desktop 5.0.9, I guess, um, there shouldn't be any problems with your OS once you get it up and running, and it should basically take care of everything for you. However, if you have an older version of Parallels Desktop, there is going to be some problems with networking, getting online, stuff like that but it's very very simple if you look online it, you can see how to do it just do a quick google search if you have any trouble with the older versions of parallels now I'm gonna boot Windows 7 for you here and because like I said I don't wanna wait for you to watch this I will pause the video and bring it back up when it is done loading Alright, we're up and running here, and uh, here's Windows. You can see I'm completely online, online right now. Um, right here in Internet Explorer, I can just browse the web. I also have sound here as well. So uh, I opened up a media file from my computer. And I don't know if you could hear that, but there you go. Also, something to look at is that you have full access to all of your files on your main Macintosh computer. You don't only have a specific folder or a hard disk for your, um, what am I looking for? For your Windows computer. So you could just view anything that's on your network or on your hard drive. So right here, here's a hard drive from a computer that's uh, in another part of the house. Here you go and I could see that only because it's on my network so we really have all the features that a normal PC would have now something that's really really cool about this is that we can work together with Mac if we click on view we can go into coherence mode there we go and now instead of seeing the entire windows we only see 
the specific individual windows. Now if we need to go to the start menu, we just click on the icon in the dock and here we have it. So it's very, very simple to work along with your Mac applications. As you can see, I'm doing right here. I have text edit and Internet Explorer open at the same time, which really is pretty cool. Now, of course, we can go into full screen if you want to. There we go. And if we go over to the top left corner, we could see a little preview of our Mac. And if we click, it will bring us back to windowed mode. And uh, we also have some other modes, crystal and modality. But I'll let you experiment with those because it's really nothing cool to look at. So that's pretty much it for parallels. Um, I also will be creating a uh, upcoming video. I'll be recording this as soon as I upload this one you're watching right now. And uh, basically, I will be installing Linux Ubuntu. How do, you, how do you pronounce that? I know I'm doing that wrong. Ubuntu, Ubuntu, something like that. Because uh, I haven't used Lin Linux yet. And I will be installing it with Parallels, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, you'll see the entire installation process. In fact, as soon as that's updated, you can see a little uh, boxy thing. I forget the names of these YouTube terms. Too many terms to remember. Um, this little caption right here, click right there. And you could see this video of how the installation process works. So thanks a lot, everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this video.